No one can say for sure what impact fracking will have in this picturesque part of Sussex because Quadrilla have yet to submit detailed proposals. But the village of Balcombe is next on their list of potential sites to exploit. In the 80s, another company did some test drilling for oil here, but didn't proceed. Environmental campaigners fear contamination of the local reservoir and the impact that any earth tremors could have on the nearby London to Brighton rail line. Say fracking is an oxymoron. You can't legislate for the vagaries of subterranean geology. If you put water into the soil, into the, into the subterranean rock, at the kind of pressure needed to crack it, your cement casings will fail. All well casings fail over time. You get fugitive emissions of methane, you get um, migration of contaminants, you've got carcinogens, you've got radioactive isotopes that were previously safely locked in the subterranean geology being released. But some take a more nuanced view. They recognise the need for new energy supplies. It's the location they object to. I don't want this in my village, but essentially, unless I stop driving a car, and I stopped flying planes, I can't really, um, as an individual, oppose it. Protesters point to these pictures, saying that the effect of shale gas production has had an extreme effect in parts of America. Just like that. A lot of what we hear about didn't happen in the first place in America, uh, but it's not, it's not uh, um, the case that it needs to happen here. The UK will do it in its own way, and it'll do it in a highly regulated and, and professional way. Gary Marsh is the local district councillor for Bulkham. His instinct is to be sympathetic to the plan if it wasn't so close to him and his neighbours. This is an area of outstanding natural beauty. We do have uh, quite a high water table. We just don't know enough about it. If they could give us the safeguards, which they say they will, then we'll, we'll have to see where it goes from there. The energy company do say that any drilling here will be on a much smaller scale than their sites in Lancashire. But that's little comfort to those who believe that any industrialisation of a rural area will have long-term implications for those who live here. Ian Woods, Sky News, Balcombe in West Sussex.